The final touches are being brushed, pressed, and sanded in preparation for this year's UBC Bachelor of Fine Arts year-end show. The show, which is open to the public, is called 2012, a tongue-in-cheek reference to the Mayan doomsday prophecy. However, the only thing coming to an end for the 34 emerging artists is their graduate studies. I think the art show is the culmination of years of working on, on their program, working on what is, you know, they're passionate about, working on what is critical to their future as artists. It's an opportunity for them to come together as a collective, uh, whilst at the same time showing their individual uh, excellence in the various areas of artistic production that they engaged with. Um, it also provides an opportunity for the community to see what in fact all these students are engaged in on this campus. I think unlike any other program, it's something that's really personal and it really signals, you know, the end of your education. If you were in something like sciences, you might have final exams, but this is, it's personal. All of our artwork is personal to each of us. We are all responsible for setting up the show, for clearing out the building, for finding the entertainment, for promoting the event ourselves. So it, it's really personal and it's really connected to the community as well. So it's, it's great. I, I don't know what I would do if I was in anything else. I think it is a great thing for people to come and see because it is really what the, a lot of the young generation is working on um, for the most part in the art world in Kelowna and it really uh, gives a good look at what's also going on in the world in contemporary art because we study a lot of contemporary art on an international scale. So it kind of gives you a kind of a little bit of an insight into what um, lots of the concepts people are working on in art um, these days. I think for quite a few of us this is our first really big professional show and it's probably actually a really good signal of what's going to be to come. I mean there's a lot of really great art here and I'm absolutely sure that there's definitely going to be some of us out in the world doing our careers, getting our art out there. So hopefully everyone's going to be able to hear our names again and see our faces again. <laughs> A number of pieces will be chosen to be part of the permanent collection on display throughout the halls of the university. Not just because they're our students, it's because they produce some of the finest work that you'd find. And in fact, these occasions are a pool for the community at large because people who've experienced this over the last decade or so know that they're going to get very good quality uh, work. Uh, and so they, they come here for that purpose. I think it's also a record of the kind of work that our students do over the, you know, over the years that they're here. And so to be able to have that in the permanent collection provides uh, access to people who need to see what has been going on here over the last several years. Like any of the programs at the university, graduating students will be well prepared to take charge of their education and apply it to their future. They will go out into the world and they will start creating their art and finding a market for it and, and seeing if there is one. There are a lot of our students will uh, work for a while as an artist and then go back to university and do a master's. And from there, they will either return to the art world or they will go into education or they will be looking for university teaching posts. Uh, there are various different options. The main one really is the creation of art. I mean, that's what uh, all of the professors here are just delighted when their students go out into the world, make art, and people see it.